to share with you five wheat belly dinners that we have had recently here at my house. If you are interested in what I eat on the Wheat Belly Lifestyle or you're looking for some low carb dinner options, then go ahead and keep watching. Really quick before we get into it, I want to let you know that I am still learning. I'm not 100% perfect and as far as I know, all of these meals are completely compliant. But if you find something that's maybe a little bit questionable, feel free to let me know because like I said, I'm still learning and I could use some input. So we're going to jump right into it and here are my five dinner ideas. If you do like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to continue to do more because I have a lot more meal ideas and I would love to make more videos like this. Today for dinner I am making stuffed chicken breast, which sounds like it would take a lot of time, but to put all of this together it took me under 10 minutes and now I just have to bake it. So basically it's just a, um, a whole two whole chicken breasts that I did the butterfly thing and cut them open and then I stuffed it with mozzarella and ham. And then I'm doing that with a side of broccoli and mushrooms, which are tossed in olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder. And I'm going to bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes and then dinner is done. So even though this like may look complicated or maybe it doesn't, I have no idea. But it, even though it looks complicated, it's super easy to throw together and it's so yummy. And seriously, 10 minutes in the oven, you're done, good to go. Dinner is ready. So I will show you when this comes out, how delicious it is. And I'm doing that thing again with my big roasting pan where I'm cooking everything at the same time because I consider myself a pretty good cook, but I'm also lazy. So like I said, this is one of my favorite things to do. And there's probably cooks out there cringing at me doing this, um, but I've never had a problem doing it this way. So I'm going to continue to do what works for me. Here we go. The stuffed chicken breast is done. It looks so good. I'm so excited to eat it. And that's what's for dinner tonight. Something we do quite often at my house is taco night, and it's been really, really easy to modify this to make it wheat belly compliant. So instead of taco shells, we use romaine lettuce and use those like shells. And then a couple things I do need to note is for the refried beans, they're very high in carbs. So you need to be careful of the amount you eat and keep it to about a fourth to a half cup. A half cup is really pushing it. So be mindful of that. And then for the taco seasoning, we make our own. Um, I know there are some that are sold in stores that are Wheat Belly compliant, but it's just easier for us to make our own. And I will leave that. Um, I will leave the recipe for you guys in the description box down below so you can see that. So tonight for dinner, we're having chili. So I'm going to show you how I start it. An onion, one green pepper, and a couple cloves of garlic chopped. And we're going to chuck that into a pan with some olive oil to allow that to saute a little bit. Woo, made okay, it. so now that this is cooked down a little and it's smelling delicious, we're going to add our ground beef and brown that up. Now that we have our meat all cooked up, we are going to add in the rest of the beans. beans. I know not everyone puts beans in their chili, but I'm from the Midwest, so we like beans in our chili. And um, I know you have to be careful with the carb count here, and I used to put in two cans, so this is only one can of black beans, but I still need to be careful with my serving size. I'm also going to add in some carrots because I'm one of those moms that likes to sneak in extra veggies whenever I can. And then two cans of diced tomatoes. And then one can, I'm just going to use this can of water. Okay, so I have the spices mixed in. I use a mixture of chili powder, cumin, garlic, um, red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, and a few other things. Just make sure if you are following the weight belly lifestyle to really check your spices ingredients first because they are definitely not all compliant. So that's something you need to be mindful of. And then I'm going to turn this on high and let it boil. And then I'm going to turn it down to a, a less rapid boil, still kind of boiling, but not full speed boiling for about an hour and I find the longer I let this cook the more it melds together and the better it is. So the chili is done cooking now and I'm going to serve it up with some avocado and sour cream and dinner is done. I love when I can make a meal in one pot because I don't love doing a ton of dishes. Tonight for dinner we are having a cheeseburger with no bun and we are having that with a fried egg on top because egg makes everything better. And then just some baked veggies with butter on top. And this is a really easy meal and it's something that everyone in my family again loves. And it's such an easy thing to make Wheat Belly compliant. So that is our dinner for tonight. 
Tonight we're making pizza, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that really quick. The crust is already pre-baked. Um, I will leave the recipe down below for the Wheat Belly pizza crust. Um, there's several recipes, but I've used this one a couple times, and it's pretty good. I did tweak it a little bit because I wanted the crust to come out not as dense. So, yeah, the crust is made, and let's get into making the rest of the pizza. Okay, now we're going to do the cheese. And then I'm going to do pepperoni on all of it and then mushrooms on half. So there it is with the toppings on it and we're going to add a little bit of extra cheese just for good measure. And back in the oven to finish baking. Voila, the Wheat Belly Pizza is done. Hey guys, so those were my five dinner ideas for you. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already but would like to, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and you can follow my Wheat Belly journey and my weight loss journey and all of that. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.